Did God, God reveal That's another question. Did God reveal That's another question. Did God reveal that to you? My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn now. My turn. Two plus two. My turn. I have a problem with your definition. My turn. That's fine. No, it's not. My turn to ask you a question. No, it's not. Okay, if you're going to play this game, then let him ask you. Okay, so you are the one. No, I'm here. Don't go. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Don't go anywhere. You're not asking my question. Did God reveal Okay, what was my first question I asked? Okay, one second. One second. You told me that whatever God reveals, that is what truth is. No, what was the question I asked you? No. You said this, correct? That was my answer to your correct. question. Correct. You said that was my question. I asked you what truth is. Let me go to him. Ask me your answer. Okay. okay. Can I have, this can guy I can't answer a single question from the Bible. Let me give that. He no, 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 you stay with you. Oh, you want a no, shield? No, 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 no,
roar. We can answer all the questions, we just take our time. You know what I'm saying? Intelligent people, we can answer. Philippians, Philippians. they import the things. We're going to Philippians too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right? Yeah. What about it? Nice. Yeah, yeah. this is going to be nice. Consider himself yeah, equal to God. No, no, he already says that. No, wait. Not equal to God. No, wait, wait. How much more clear can you get? Let's read it. No, wait, wait. Read, read answer, read answer. Go on. By the way, I was talking about immortality. He goes to Philippians. No, 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 no. You asked where was Jesus? Yeah, why? The, the same substance as yeah, so God. Philippians, now find it. Let's read what's written. On the line. It says, listen, Philippians 2, verse 5. Have this mind among yourself which is yours in Christ Jesus, whom though he was in the form of God, did not count himself equal with God, at things to be grasped, but empathized himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. What is it? Where is that sense? So in other words, let me break that down. Where does it say material? Same material. No, hold on. Let me Same break it. form. Let me break it down. Adam was created in the image of God. Is he God? Hold on, Same hold on, form hold on, again. Hold on, hold on. That is the worst example you could give me Philippians. Philippians 2 verse 5. Hold on a minute. So Philippians 2 verse 5. I read it from this one. Which one did you read that? Listen, wait, Wrong wait. Bible? Oh, hold on. Sir, please, if you're asking a it's question. It's the same verse. I can address your point if you're asking a genuine question. It is a genuine question. But don't try to. I'm not it's in for question. that. Yes, right. Go on. It says, let this mind be in you, the text you quote, verse 5, which was also in Christ. Who being in the form. form. He didn't say he didn't say what well, he didn't say it was literal God, form of God. Not material. Humanity. Mean. Humanity. What did he mean? What did he mean? What did he mean? Form, for example. Was Adam created in the image of God? Yes. Was that the form of God? That's right. So what's the difference between him and Jesus? No, he was no humanity. <laughs> no, no, humanity. Exactly what the hold Quran on, says. Hold on, hold on. The Quran says the likelihood of Jesus is that like you that know. of Adam. You are a good yes? point. When Allah wants to create but something, all he says is be. Kun, fayakun, and he becomes. So this is what they're telling us. No, that no. in the same image, same form. Yeah, okay? humanity. But that doesn't mean that God the Father looked like Jesus. Yes? No, humanity. All it means is in the image of God. It's like Adam was created in the image of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, go on, go on. Go on. He's answering that. So not the same substance of material. No, no, humanity. Same human flesh. So you're saying God has got human flesh? Hold on. Go on, go on, go on. You go on. Let me address this one. Paul is saying, have this mind among yourselves, right. which is yours in yeah. Christ Jesus. Yeah, that's okay? right. So He's telling, first of all, he's telling the people, have this same mindset as, God. as Jesus. Right. Yeah, as Jesus. Good, good. Have, have this like uh, Think like Jesus. Think, think in spirit. Yeah. Though he was in the form of God. Form. Made like the image. He did not count equality with God. Right. He didn't take the same. to be grasped. Wait, take your time. Slowly, take your time. He didn't say, look, I am God. I want to do what I want to do. He humbled himself. Go on now. Humbled himself. But emptied himself. Right. By taking the form of a servant. So he take on form all on now. So he take on the so he's so God. Not God, he's a servant. Wait, 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 wait. So he was God, but he decided to. No, no, he didn't say he was God. Hold on, hold on. He did not consider no, no, equality to God. Doesn't wait, mean wait, he's God. No, no, no. Don't go down that road. No, no, no. no. What's right, right, right. What's that? talking? What's that? What's that? Guys, two guys. I think you already have your tongue. Why are you talking? No, you, you just. I'm just jumping. I'm just jumping. Let's balance it. Let's balance it. Who is talking? Who is talking? No, no. One at a time. No, we slow you talk. No, we you talk. No, because he blew his chance earlier. He blew his chance. We both are talking. Come on. No, no. One talk, one to one. Let's be fair, one to one. Hear the mic. Listen, we're both talking. Hear the mic. No, no, you can't talk. One to one. Wait, 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 wait,
that Jesus is in the form of God, right. it simply mentions means that he's human, right. then why would he be humble? Why would we have to follow that example and empty himself? It only makes sense if he has a form that is superior Brilliant to point. Brilliant point. Brilliant can point. Can I Amazing. That? Can he's, I he's a clever guy. Okay. First and foremost, right. he says in the form or image of God. Right. Hey. No, 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 no. Form, no. form, form and image. Yeah, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. No, no, carry on, carry on, man, carry on, man. What was your statement earlier? You said they are made in the same substance, am I right? Yes, that's right. Okay. I asked you for evidence. Yeah. Really? That they are made, wait, wait. That didn't say they are made of the same substance. Okay? Yes, it does. So you have got the wrong word. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. It does. Form doesn't mean substance. You should know that. Hold on, hold so on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me show you some examples. All right. If I tell wait, you, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. If I, I tell you, here. wait, wait. wait. If I listen tell you, one, wait. You know, this goes back to your example about yeah, the rain no, and the water. Time. Right? No, wait, yes. No, wait, wait, this wait, goes wait. back to the example of the rain and water yeah, you gave me earlier. Yeah, yeah, go on. Okay. Both of them are made of the same as two. Right? Right. That's right. right. One is called rain. Right. The other is called tap water. Go on. Good. But they are made of the same substance. Brilliant. I.e. as two. Good. Over there, all you told me is in the form of God. Right. Or like. The image of God in the case of Adam. No. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Carry on. Let me finish. Yeah, if I say you're in the form uh -huh. of a human being, right? Yes. Good point. You are a human being. Yes. Yeah. Good. Good. Does it say? Does it mean that you? Are made anything other than a human being? No. No. Brilliant. Okay. So this is so wait, exactly what you say. No, no, wait, He's saying he was in the form of human being. I haven't okay, finished. Go on, go on. Wait a minute. Now, if you're telling me that the form of Adam, right, the image of Adam, that's right, that is made in, we're brilliant. Exactly like. The image from Jesus. Brilliant. No, no, from God. Yeah, yeah. This is made Same in the image of God. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So would Adam be same substance as God? Yes. Any Christians believe that? I'm not concerned. I'm asking. I'm, I'm not speaking for. I'm, okay. You asked me. Is there any Christian here? Unfortunately, not. Well, come on. Well, come on. Uh, come on, young you, you actually believe. Adam, you actually believe Adam is made of the same substance as God. God says, I created man in my own image, my friend. You know what that means? <laughs> oh, you're going to give me the meaning now after what I said. Hold on, hold on. We, believe, we have a hadith where, where Ad, it says Adam is created in the image of God. In the image of God. But then from the, from the Islamic perspective, we have a very clear definition. Uh -huh. Because you see, when somebody makes something, for example, if, if you were working in a factory, you would have a mold from which you make other items. Yes. yes? For example, these towers. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they might have used a mold to, to print yeah. this tower in that in that shape. Yeah. So that mold belongs to the factory. Yes. Similarly, in the image of God uh -huh. means the image belongs to God. Or the or the blue frame belongs to God. To God. Brilliant. Made it clever. However, however, what Adam is made of is not what the substance, what Allah is made of. So all on. Can but I he give says you? his God is made of the same substance as that of Adam. Oh, no, which is a complete utter nonsense. No, wait, I don't think Christian uh, even believes yes, that. Yes, it is God. Can I come in now? Yeah, right. You said the same mold belongs to God. Sorry, God. The same mold. Yeah, the blue frame. Blue frame belongs to God. This is exactly what the, the, the gospel is all about. The, 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 the frame belongs to God, but he decided to deposit himself in, in his own humanity to represent him on the earth to redeem mankind. How about that? So he's using the blueprint. So he's created this. That's a being. He's using the blueprint of himself. Created. That means he's created. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jesus uh, is created according to this guy. Uh, listen, no, 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 no. I don't think no, he actually no, believes what he believes. No, in, no, in the sense of re creation exactly. begin with Adam. Yes. Jesus. Hold on. Jesus came from a Virgin Mary. It's like you and I are technically created. You might say no. Why? But we're created through the form of a human. A woman. It's the same process of creation is now passed on to us today, having children, women having children. The same form. That is creation. But in the form of passing through a woman. Same thing. It's still creation. I don't disagree. Right. So Jesus was created. That's what I'm trying to say. Because he came from a woman and creation began with humanity, because he was humanity and come from a woman, 
Yes, yes, you can you can term it as being great. Yes. Adam is better than woman. Huh? Adam is better than woman. He didn't need no woman. No, Jesus is better because Jesus come. Hold on. Jesus come from no. From a woman. No, listen. Jesus has the spirit within himself from the divine source. In other words, God is a spirit, and all humanity have a percentage of that spirit in them when we accept Christ. Percentage of God's spirit in us? So you're saying God is in you? Yes, when I accept him, yes, he's become a part of me. Yes, he's in me. So you believe God is everywhere? Yeah, of course. Do you believe God is in hell? God goes anywhere he wants. He's in hell. Anywhere he wants to go. Hell. Anywhere. But say yes or no. He can go anywhere he wants. Is he in hell? No. I'm gonna tell you. Hold on. Let me explain. Let me explain. You know why God is not in hell? You said anyway. No, you know. Three times he hold said on. Three you know times. why God is not in hell? You said everyone. No, no. Do you know why God is not in hell? But you said he's everywhere. Because God is a represent God is a representative of light. And where he is, which is light, darkness cannot be. Hell is where darkness is. God is light. If he goes to hell, hell is no more hell. Three times you said yes. You hear me? Everybody. Listen, listen to me. Listen, he asked me, hello. Listen, cameraman, listen to me. He's asking me if God can go to hell. If God goes to hell, hell will no more be hell. Hell will be more heaven because God's power, when he goes to hell, transform hell into heaven. Where does he say in the Bible? So you agree with me that God is not This is amazing, God is. When he goes to hell, hell is no more hell because hell is darkness. When God, which is light, goes to hell, hell is no more hell. So ladies and gentlemen, Every listen day. to this gentleman yeah, earlier. Earlier I asked him, is God everywhere? And he yes, said yes. yes. Oh, yes he is. Three times he said yes. yes that's right. Then I asked him, is he in hell? And he said no. So he doesn't know what everywhere is. Everywhere. What do you mean? What do you mean? You said... God is times. light. He cannot dwell in darkness. Darkness is hell. Is hell part of everything? If, if God goes to hell, I said again, God is light. He can't go into darkness. If he goes into darkness, the darkness which is hell cannot contain him. He's going to become God in that hell. hell so that means there no more ex hell exists. I try and run away from him. No, no, you oh no, 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 no. completely misunderstood no, 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 no. the point. The point is, it's hell for God, is, God is light. Oh, no, if no, he no. goes to hell, oh, no. hell, hell is no more hell. Oh, because way, hell is darkness. Way, God is light. When he goes to hell, hell is yeah, but no ex in existence anymore. It's because hell. guess what? He's gone there. So he's taking light to hell. One minute. And transform hell into light. Go on now. Okay. It's hell part of everywhere. Yes, so he's everywhere. Okay, he's God everywhere. Omniscient. Okay, so he's in hell as well then. Thank you. No, he's not. No, 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 Make up your mind. If he goes to hell, part of he missed my point. And if God is in hell, sorry, it's, it's everywhere, then he should be in hell as well. If he but you're saying, if you're saying, Hell is not part of everywhere. Then yes, you might have a point. If it, but because you say hell is part of everywhere, if he goes to hell, if God, to if God goes to hell, hell is no longer in existence. But your God went to hell when he died. Him. Remember? Listen, when Jesus saying. died, he went to hell. That's what I'm saying. But if he stayed there, hell would not exist anymore. No, but when he went to hell, he didn't exist. Listen, listen, wait, wait. Bro, bro, listen. No, when Jesus man. Went to hell, you say this now? Listen, listen, bro. When Jesus went to hell, did it exist? Yes, that's right. You said when God. Goes in hell, it won't be hell anymore. No, no. <laughs> what I'm trying to say to you, what I'm trying to say to you, what you're talking Jesus, not God, God divine, when he goes to hell, hell doesn't exist anymore. He cannot dwell in hell. He's right. He can't dwell in darkness. He did go to hell. He can't dwell in darkness. And hell is still existing. What? So you are wrong. Jesus, when he died, the first place he went to was Hades. Hades is hell. And you, according to you, if God goes in hell, hell will not be hell anymore. Exactly. But it's still hell. What? <laughs> <laughs> he still hasn't realized, does he? Any more questions? I don't think the Do you want any more questions? Yes, the question is this. Yeah. Can God have a God? Sorry? Can God have a God? No. Did Jesus have a God? No. Why did Jesus say, I go to my God in John 20, 17? What you need to understand in context. In context. Give me the context. In context. Give me the context. He's literally saying, look, as we read in the text earlier, he, w he came in the form of a servant. In other words. So in other words, it's not God. Let me, can I break it down, sir? This guy is the owner of the company. You are his son. He is in charge of 90% of the shares of the company. You only the son. He said to you, look, I'm giving you 50% of the share, right? But he owned 90. He can't really give you 50%. So he's pretty much saying, all right, I'm going to keep 50 and give you 30. What's that going That's to do? Oh, I'm breaking it down to you. So listen to what I'm trying to say. So in, in this, in, wait, in this, it is showing you here that what he is the owner, but he took it, he said to you, I am the owner, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you power over the company. But you are going to, you, you are inheritance of the company in case he is not around. 
Yeah. If he just needs 50%, but, yeah. hold on. Who's going to be the owner now? No, no, no. Wait up. Wait. If he had 90, no. if you give me 50, I become your owner. Exactly. That, <laughs> all is I'm that what happened to Jesus? He became the owner of his father? Let me finish, no man. That's let, me finish. Let, me, let me finish. Where did these guys come from? Let me finish. So, but what, what Jesus did now, he took the form of a servant. So you are the father. You give your son 50%. In other words, instead of him saying, I have power over the company now, you as a son say, Daddy, because you are always owner of the company, even though you give me percent, I'm gonna go below you. you amazing. Hey, what my is God is amazing. Question? Let me tell you something. You my God is amazing. Question? You Any my question? question you want, I give it to you. Do you remember my question? Because I already what was my question. I, 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 just what was my question? If God can have God. Yes. yes that's what Did saying. Jesus have a God? No. So Jesus lied in the Bible. No. When what he said, he show me, show me where he John 2017. John, John 2017. Oh my God. I like to look at it. Educate them about their own Bible. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Disgusting. John what? John chapter 20, verse 17. Right. John 20. No, man. I speak to myself. John 20. Remember, he said, he said, God cannot have a God. No, no. John 20, verse 17. 17. Right. Jesus said unto her, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren. Carry on. And say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and my God and your God. When he said, my God, what does it mean? It's because he takes the form of a servant. We are just established. So you're saying Jesus during his ministry was only a servant? That's right. He was never God. What I'm saying, <laughs> God is a spirit, sir. Is he God or not? Tell me that. I'm answering the question. God is a spirit. All I want to know is, is, hold on, hold on. is Jesus God on earth or not during his ministry? Listen, you can't, just, you can't get one answer for everything. I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, God answer. is a spirit, my friend. When Jesus came and walking on the earth, he had the supreme authority of his father. Once he on earth, he... He denounces his heavenly office and takes the form of a servant. So when he said, I pray to my father, it means that he's praying to the greater source, which is the Spirit of God. You still haven't answered my question. Was Jesus fully God or not? The Lord. No. So you don't no, believe... no making sense. So you don't believe Jesus is God? No, Je Jesus is God, but not fully God on earth. That's what I'm saying. So how much person was he God on earth? 50 50. 50 50. That's right. What kind of a God is that? What do you mean, what kind of God is that? How many gods are there? I'm gonna sh should I break it down? How many gods are there? No, should I explain it? Okay. Should I, my question? Should I explain it? No, no. After you answer my question. No, because what? what, it's what? Very simple question. I want to answer your question, but you're God, jumping on. That's no, why I can't. How many gods do you believe in? One God. One God. Is that one God 100% God? No. God. Eh? What do you mean? Sorry, I missed that question. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I asked you how many yeah. gods do you believe in? One God. Is that one God 100% God? Yes. Okay. Is that God Jesus? Yes. <laughs> what happened? In the sense. He's just thinking that's a good sign. No. No, no, good, good. Let him think, let him think. Good, good, good. In the sense, is Jesus one hundred percent God? Hold on. <laughs> Jesus is the image of God. Is he one hundred percent God? Listen to me, man. God is a spirit. I keep on telling you. I didn't ask you about the spirit of yeah. Listen, well, listen, is Jesus one hundred percent God? You know, this, this is my answer. God is a spirit. So Jesus is one hundred percent God, but not until he ascends back to his Father, where he is now become the representative of God, who we cannot see. Oh, you mean after resurrection? That's right. So before resurrection. See, I like this guy. We're getting somewhere. No, no, wait. I it's not a very complex thing. I like this guy. So you're, saying, so you're telling me yeah. Jesus, yeah. only after his resurrection, get full back, became to, fully God. Yes. Before that, he's still under the, was under he, the servant. Servant. Was he zero percent God? No, servant. Servant. Which means zero percent God, right? No, I wouldn't say zero percent God. But you can't be master and servant at the same no, no. time. He had, either servant or the master. No, no. He had his power, but have it under control. Forget control. You, no, no. Was he a servant? Or was he the man. Master? Hold on, hold on. You can have a great man, yeah, who have a lot of wealth. But he decides to be a servant in his own house. Possible. Okay. Does he? When he is a servant, it's simple. Very simple, isn't it? So the master yeah. decided to be the servant. Okay? Yeah, that's right. When somebody asks him, "Are you the master?" What will he reply? I am. No, no, no. That example he gave me oh, yeah. of a master huh? who is behaving like a servant. Right. If somebody asked him and asked him to answer the truth, "Are you the master?" What will that man answer? I, I would say, he would say. I've been with you so long and you don't know me. What I am ask? the master. All he asks you, are you the master? What you do we say, say I am the master. Okay, so if he's the master, yeah. then the question is this. Uh -huh. Is Jesus, when he was the master, right? was he master when he was on earth? To a degree, that's what I'm trying you to see say what I mean? to you. He can, 
he right. wants, you know what he wants to do? He, he wants, wants to Jesus to behave like a servant and a master. He wants you to have his cake and eat it. My friend. The reason the Christians keep doing this no. is because they cannot get the head around the fact my friend. that Jesus my friend. cannot be God and man at the same time. My friend. The only the confusion they are in this place my friend. is because they believe he's man and God at the same time. My friend. Which is an oxymoron. The matrix of God. What yeah, matrix? The, the matrix of God, what my matrix? friend, can confuse you. You're the one confused. No, no. Not me. You're the one who's saying he's a servant before he died, okay? But after he died, after he resurrected, he became fully God. So during his ministry, he was zero person God. Either you need to accept hello, it. Hello, hello, hello. But cameraman, listen there again. The, the earlier text that we read, he first he tell you, verse 5, he says, Let this mind be in you which is also in Christ. He's telling you to understand understand the rudiments of God, you have to think beyond humanity. Can you? Why? Why? Can why you think you beyond humanity? <laughs> yes, make it simple, bro. You are a human being. Oh, Can you think beyond humanity? Man, so you know, the Hindu God, God, they are more better so than you're a human being. Because that's if you can think beyond humanity, they okay, you cannot be human. That's the mystery of God. That's the mystery of God. We'll find out. Let me ask you this. When Jesus tells you, when Jesus tells you, that God loves more these people than his soul. He needs a master as well. Yeah. Servant and master. Yeah. So you can't be servant and master. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Because you're either the servant. All right. Let me ask you a question. Can you be a servant leader? Can you be a servant leader? All right. Finish. When you're the servant, yeah. yes. Do you serve someone who is your master? Am I right? In our human terms, this is yeah, yes. The Bible is written in human terms. Yes. Good. So when Jesus says, "I'm the servant of God," yeah. What do you understand? Does he have a master? That's what I'm saying. Can you be a servant? Can you don't answer the question. Can you be a servant no, master? No, no, wait. He's answering your question. Can you be a no, servant and a master? No. I can be a servant of someone. Yeah, but can you be a servant and a master? I'm asking, I'm asking. I can be a servant of someone. All right. Now can wait, you... let me finish. When I am the servant of someone, that someone is my master. All right. Like for example, I am Abdullah. All right. I'm the servant of Allah. Okay. Okay? All right. Now who's my master? Allah. Allah. When Jesus says he's a servant, huh? who is his master? God Almighty, hello him. Thank you very much. Hello him. Wait a minute. Now, in a servant master right. scenario, yeah. who has more authority? Master. Master. In the Jesus, the Father authority, who has more authority? God Almighty, yeah. Thank you very much. Can anyone have more authority than God Almighty? No. Can anyone? Did I ask you guys? I'm sure you can answer himself. Of course I can answer myself. Okay. Repeat the question. My question is very simple. Yeah. Is there an authority higher than God Almighty? Is there any authority higher than God Almighty? No. No. Good. Very good. You said, no price for that. you said, uh -huh. the master of Jesus mm -hmm. is his God. Yeah, God the Father. His Father. Yeah. That means he has more authority. Yeah, that's right. Which disqualifies Jesus as God, because according to your principle which you agreed upon, no authority can be higher than, Je no, higher no, than no, God no, Almighty. No, 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 no. If there is authority higher than Jesus... going back around in the book again. Let me start up again. I'm going to show you how much I know what I'm talking about. Listen again. You understand, right? God is a spirit, my friend. Yeah, Don't let's stop going to spirit, man. <laughs> Jesus was not spirit when he was an earth. I want to answer for questions. It makes more sense. I but you're missing what I'm saying. God is a spirit. First of all, I tell you, God is a spirit. Before you correct for a tiny level, I'm not saying this is correct. I'm saying what you are saying makes sense. The problem is a lot of people here, they are rebellious or they're religious. What you're saying doesn't make sense. What you say, a lot of the time, I've heard you, and what you're saying now here makes sense. But there is an understanding. That is higher than a Satan level God. And I'm saying it honestly to you, and there is. Now, that doesn't mean it cannot be wrong. It could be wrong. It could be twisted stuff. So, you're, honestly saying, so you're saying this only makes sense to 10, 11 year old so that's kids. That's even better. You know, you know, if it can make no, sense no, no, to no, kids. No, no, no. If it can make sense no. to kids, then it should, you, you <laughs> others should have no problem. No, 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 no. He's trying to I say it to you. Let us live in a little bit liar. No. We, we are like a child in this. Wait, wait a minute. Let's you know, live you know, you know how. How, how Paul explained this in a very similar way. If you read First Corinthians chapter eleven verse three, do you know what it says in there? What did it say? It says the head of the head of Christ, the head of man is Christ. Yeah. Yes, obviously during his ministry, the head of the woman is man uh -huh. in a marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the most important bit, the head of Christ is God. 
Yes. Wait, wait, why are you saying That's amazing. Is that good enough for a 10 year old? The Edafu is gone. The Edafu is twice. It's gone. It's amazing, isn't it? That's exactly what we were doing. I was telling you earlier. You just get it. No, but I'm telling you. This guy is amazing. I like him. I'm saying. I'm saying. The head of Christ is gone. That's exactly what I was trying to explain to you just now. If you agree with me, then you should agree that Jesus cannot be God because he has a higher authority. And according to your principle, God Almighty can have no higher authority. Can you Did Jesus have a higher authority? Yes. Can I have a minute? According to 1 Corinthians. Can I have a minute? Can I have a minute? What I'm trying to say to you, in terms of humanity, he is limited to, with his power. The power that is ava have available to him was limited. But in terms of divinity, he and God share the same unique nature and purpose. Can I correct you on that? You know the passage I just gave you, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, yeah, verse 3. Right. Yeah. You know Paul wrote this at least 30 years after Jesus Christ. At least. So by that time he had gone and resurrected, sitting on the right hand side, whatever of God, okay? Yeah. Even after that, you know what he writes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember, he's no more human being. Yeah. So your loophole, that when he was a human, he was a servant of God Almighty, goes out the window. Because that was, that was according Can to I Paul, was written way after Jesus' resurrection and ascension. So post-ascension, Paul still maintains this. The head of Jesus Christ is God Almighty. And you know what he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6, or is it 6 8? He says, The one true God is who? The Father. Who is the one true God according to Paul? The Father. Who is the one true God according to Jesus Christ? In John 17, 3. Yes? He says, addressing his Father, you the only true God. Yes? Again, addressing the Father. So according to both Paul and Jesus Christ, the only God is who? So if, if the Father, right. Which is the God of Jesus? Right. Tell listen to this, listen to this now. I'm answering their question. They don't want to answer. They don't they, they can't understand my understanding. Here is no. My question to you now. All Muslim. What is it? Question or answer? In the Quran, I can it's in my bag. Uh, change the topic. Yeah, I'm change because, the topic. because we're not getting anywhere with your conversation. Of course we're getting it. Everyone you understood except you. I am gonna ask you a question. In the Quran, yeah. The, it tells you clearly that remember those who transgress concerning the Sabbath. Yeah. Why does Muhammad keep the Sabbath today? And all Muslims. Muslims don't keep the Sabbath. Don't Why? Don't Why is that? Because and the Bible and the Quran says, because remember those who transgress. I'll find it for you in a minute. Concerning the Sabbath. Why did you know, what hold on? Why does the Muslim today keep the Sabbath? Don't keep the Sabbath. Or keep the Sabbath. Why they don't keep it today? Yeah. The reason is because what you are reading from Al Baqarah about the Sabbath, yes, the Sabbath right. is actually addressing the Bani Israel. Yeah. Yes. Who are the Bani Israel? Yep. Yes. Moses and his people. Quran. All right. They were the ones. They can't yeah. Read, 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 read from the Quran. No problem. Read the context. I'm gonna find it. Yes. No, I'm gonna read. Here it is. Make sure whom is God addressing. Here it is. All. Yeah, go on. Here it is. All. I'm gonna and tell me who is talking. Wait, wait, wait. Why did he change the topic anyway? Wait, wait, yeah, no. no because, because the first Sabbath was given to Adam. Brilliant. But, but that, it's got nothing to do with Jews. It was given to Adam. Now, according to what I, wait, let me finish. What I know, good man. Every person standing here is the son of Adam. Right. So it's got nothing to do. With Jews, if you know biblical okay. first and foremost, did anybody good say guy. Good did guy. anybody say the first Sabbath? Good guy. No, we didn't say the first Sabbath. The mention of Sabbath which he gives actually from the Ten Commandments, yeah, that's right. which Moses brought yep. to his people, the yep. Israel, uh -huh. that is the one he's talking about. Nobody talked about the first Sabbath, so that is a straw man argument. Carry on. Hold on. But what no, building on his point. Show me the whole on a minute. Me the Listen, I'm going to give you a minute. Billing on his point. You can say I'm wrong. Billing on his point. He's not Jew. Adam, no Adam was no, given. No. Listen, I'm talking about Adam. Adam that's what no. he's showed the words. Oh, I know that's yeah, what he said. You made up. You gave me example. Ah, yes. Yeah, I never, I never. Can I get Adam? Sabbath. Let me finish. No, no, he, he, come in here. Because the reason why he jumped in. You like when he's a man of God, you tell him. Wait. When I talk, you say you're not happy, bro. Come on. The reason why God made us sectarian Jews. It's because the rest of us were not following his law. My so the rest of us were not there. <laughs> Can we give us a no, 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 oh, finish, finish, finish. The rest of us were not there. So, okay, so the Babylonians were not following God's law. Fully, okay? And right. So he gave, God gave his way to Adam and to Enoch and stuff like that. Brilliant guy. So brilliant, it brilliant doesn't strong. make sense uh -huh. for someone to say, well, the, this Sabbath, no, because that's the reason why he picked uh, Abraham. Abraham was saying, you're still, he wasn't even a Jew. He said, you're still keeping 
my Sabbath, right? And he wasn't even a Jew. Abraham. He, Abraham. Brilliant guy. So, guys, so are you recording this? Not me. Wait, wait, show wait, wait, me. Wait, I just read the topic. I just read the topic. Well, Abraham was called a brilliant man. So, 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 so I just read the topic. I want you and him to show me the evidence from the Bible where Abraham was told no. to have the Sabbath. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Until yeah. then, yeah. no. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Until then, no. Wait, wait. We're gonna we'll come on that in a minute. I really want to say Abraham. Listen to me. Listen. Wait. Hold the Bible. I want people to show because it's always. Hold the Bible. A cock and a bull. This is the Quran. Look, Quran. We read the Quran. Yeah, go. It's time for Bible time for Quran. Here, what about here? The Quran says here, sir. It says. And surely you have known the end of those among you who transgress in matters of Sabbath. All right. I'm asking all the Muslims. Right. 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 Whom is God addressing? Whom is he addressing? Yeah. Whom is he you need yeah. to keep it in focus. First of all, who was talking? Is Allah is talking. talking. Right. To whom? No. Wait, to whom? Wait a minute. Wait a no. minute. Yeah. To whom? Wait a minute. Oh. But which verse is that? He's saying he's not going to win the argument no, wait, because he wait, said wait, wait, wait. like a Christian wait, wait, wait. side. No. It was only for the Jews. Wait, 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 wait. No, this language. Hold on. Who this was talking first? Who no. was talking? Okay, which verse? Give me the verse. It's Surah 2 verse 65. Meaning the other nations are to do the same. No, no. He's not saying that. He's not saying that's right. Like if you want to talk, let me talk. Quran. Can we talk? Can we talk? Exactly. Right. It says, it says, read again, read again. It says, and surely you have known the end of those among you. You have known. What's that mean in English? Wait a minute. Man. No, no, wait a minute. This is the problem. You have a misunderstanding. Wait a minute. You how known? How known in English? Explain. Okay, how known? Actually, read, I'm not a read Muslim, it from my friend. I'm a Christian. I can't explain. I'm asking you who, who is speaking here and what is it saying? Can I explain? Can I explain now? You read it. How known? 65. Listen, listen. You ask, I'm going to explain. Who is speaking? Allah is speaking. Allah is speaking. Can I also? Wait, no, wait, wait. Can I also? Please, give me, give me. Okay. Not Allah. Actually, the context. You said Allah. Is who is speaking? Who is speaking? Who is speaking then? Well, he doesn't believe now. Who is speaking this one? Listen, listen. The context says. 63. Read from 66. 66. 66. 66. 66. Read, read, from, read from 63. No, wait, wait, wait. That's the context. Now, who is reading? Or oh, read from 63. Yeah. 63. 63. And the Jews and the Christians and the Sabians. Uh, read from 63. Yeah, 63. Read from 63. Read aloud. And the Sabians, whichever party from among these truly believes in Allah in the last day uh -huh. and does good deeds, uh -huh. shall have their reward with their Lord, and no fear shall come upon them, right. nor shall they grieve. Okay. And remember the time when we look when no, yes when we took a covenant from you and raised high above you the mount saying hold fast that which we have given you and bear in mind what is therein brilliant that you may be saved okay. hallelujah now, now 65, you see 65 65 okay. Then okay. you turn back thereafter uh -huh. and had it not been for Allah's grace uh -huh. towards you and his mercy uh -huh. you would surely have been you should have been losers. Yeah. 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 Next, okay. verse. Next verse. Next verse. This is the key verse now. Go on, I'll read that. And surely you have known the end of those amongst you who transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Look in the Quran, it says Saturday. So we well, I'm asking so what you, is the problem? What so is the problem? Said to them, be ye apes and despise. Hold up. Be ye apes and despise. Right. So first of all, let me go back and backtrack. Oh. What is your con what is the contention? You need to tell me that. What is you are Muslim. I'm There's not Muslim, sir. Seven. I'm not. Wait a minute. So let us explain to you. Wait a let minute. Let us finish this verse. Explain. Wait a minute. It says, verse 65. Oh. Then you turn back thereafter. And had it not been for Allah's grace towards you and his mercy, you would have surely been as the losers. Yeah. Then he went on to say, and surely you have known the end of those among you who transgress in matters of Sabbath. What is the Sabbath? Okay, before you go to what is the Sabbath, right. let me ask you, who is the you in this verse? It says no, then I'm you. I'm not a Muslim, sir. You explain. No, but I will take your explanation. So you I'm, not Muslim. Muslim. I'm just reading the text. I'm just reading the Bible. You said I'm just reading the Quran. Sorry. 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 So after all this, so I'm telling you what is written in the Quran. So after all this, he wants me to explain to him. Yeah, explain what. Okay, first and foremost, yeah. first and foremost, no, no, no. First and foremost, explain to me what is the Sabbath and who is talking. Exactly. First, you need to answer whom is he talking to. That Good. is very important. Right. It is actually to the children of Israel, the Bani Israel, as I told you earlier. Right. It is yeah. not a message to the Muslims. Not a message to the Muslims. Okay. Okay. So your whole argument earlier, why don't you keep the Sabbath, yeah. goes out the window. Why is that? 
because it's addressing the not the Muslims. The so, hold on, hold on. so why he says, why he says, and surely you have known the end of those among you who transgress. Yeah, it's all yeah, transgress Jews. is a past tense. Oh, hold because on, he's hold talking on. about the Jews oh, hold on, who did not keep the Sabbath hold and on, those who did not keep the Sabbath, hold on, hold on. they were listen, punished listen by God. Very listen simple. To me, listen to me. What is your point? No, no wait. No, we have to get to the point. Wait, wait, sir, wait, wait. Are you saying we have two Sabbaths now? I'm saying to you the same thing. We don't have Sabbath. Hold on a minute. The Muslims do not have the Sabbath. Can I finish, please? Can I finish? I'm saying to you, the one Sabbath, as this guy is saying, that was given to Abraham, is the same Sabbath. Show me the evidence for that. Show me the evidence that Abraham was given the Sabbath. In the Bible? Yes. Go on. I would like to see Abraham being given the Sabbath. Because as far as I know, it was revealed in the Ten Commandments of Moses. This guy says it was given to Adam and to Abraham. The Ten, the ten Commandments now, wait, wait. was given at creation, my friend. No, you show me where Abraham was given the Sabbath. Go on. Sorry, and you show me where Adam was given the Sabbath. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. The Sabbath was made from creation. Don't give me any excuses. Give me the evidence or there is no case. Hello, hello. You heard, Did you heard what you said? What? The Sabbath. If it's given to her, if he was made from creation, he would have the first prophet would have been given the Sabbath would be Adam. Evidence. Show us the evidence. Show us the evidence. Bring us the evidence. Show me where Adam was given the Sabbath and Abraham was given the Sabbath. I'm gonna give a Bible. I'm gonna give a Bible. Hold on, man. Okay. You're asking for evidence. Why are you finding? You're asking for evidence. Of course, I'm asking for evidence. Genesis chapter two. Read it. Read it. Read it. All right. Hold on. Make sure it's Sabbath. Hold on. Hold on. By the way, look at it. Yeah, of course. Genesis chapter two. By the way, verse two. Read it. Genesis chapter two. No, read you read it. it. It's your, it's your contention. Sorry, it's your, <laughs> it's your, it's your, it is your point. Book, so you, the, book, the onus is on you. Don't, don't, don't put the plan down. It's, 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 it's impossible right. because God created seven days. Show me the Sabbath. If there's another Sabbath, you have to show me the Sabbath. I'm gonna show you. Show me the Sabbath. You ready for the Sabbath? Yes. Do you ready for the Sabbath? It's only one Sabbath. Sabbath for Adam and for Adam. You ready? Hold on. Are you ready? Genesis chapter two. Verse 2, yeah, it says, On the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. That is the Sabbath. Which is the seventh day? Wait, wait, guys, wait, watch this. Which is the seventh day? Seventh day of the week. Yes. Seventh day of the week. Seventh day of the week. Saturday. Are you sure? I tell you. Are you sure? Anybody have another Quran? Seventh day. Anybody have a Quran? Seventh day. Anybody have a Quran? Anybody have a Quran? Anybody have a Quran? Anybody have a Quran? Hold on. Why do the, why do the Christian countries? No, no. Rest on the Sunday. Quran. Nobody have a Quran. No, no. This one. I want one that tells you that Saturday, because you don't know it's Saturday. First and foremost. Sabbath is Saturday. Find your Quran and look into it. The word Sabbath, the word Sabbath in Arabic is Saturday. I agree. Oh, you agree? He agrees. He agrees. Oh, you're happy? Right. Of course. Every time you happy once, good. <laughs> <You've been miserable. laughs> it's amazing. He's been explain miserable it. all this time. Explain now. Okay, now let me explain to you. I can't believe when you God said says, that. Wait, when God says he rested on the seventh day, right. yes. does God need rest? Does God need rest? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What happened? Hold on, hold on. What happened? Hold on. Hold on. Look, hold on. The smile is wiped off. Hold on, hold on. The smile is gone. It is written. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What does Sabbath mean? Hold on. Sabbath is the day of rest. Why is it? Why is, it, why is it written in the Quran? What? And surely you know of the end among you who transgress matters of Sabbath. What does it say? Rest. Your God needs Sabbath. Rest. My God doesn't need rest. Why is it in the Quran? It's in the Quran. In the Quran. It says about the Bani hey, Israel. Read it. About the Bani Israel. Sabbath. Verse 66. Sabbath, Saturday, rest. No, he said God don't need it. You're the one. We're not talking about rest. We're not talking about rest. We're talking about, rest. Why you guys We're talking about Sabbath. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You guys. I don't have a microphone. You got all red in the face. Let's go. Let's go. Explain the Sabbath. I wish you guys should see the cameraman's face. He's all red in the face. Come on, turn it up. From the sun. Can you explain? Explain. Come on, explain. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. What is the meaning of Sabbath? The Sabbath. We're talking the Sabbath. We're not talking about rest. Sabbath doesn't just mean Saturday. What does it mean? Sabbath, according to the Jews, they're not allowed to do any work on that day, which means they're allowed to rest only. All right. So the, the does the Muslim do that? Finish. 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 Right? Remember earlier when I asked you, show me the context, and you said I'm not a Muslim. 
Right. So you asked me right. to explain it to you, right. but when I explained it to you, you were not listening. All right. Otherwise, you wouldn't make the same mistakes. Why are the Muslims not following the Sabbath? The reason for that is in this verse, you know what chapter two, verse sixty-three to sixty-five, uh-huh. is talking about God is addressing the Bani Israel. Right. Yeah, are the Bani Israel the Muslims? No. Good. So God is addressing the Bani Israel. Why should we keep the Sabbath? It says God is saying, God. remember them who transgress in Sabbath. Who they? Who are they? The, the Jews. Thank you. I'll so I'm Jews. saying, yeah, if you're followers of God, why are you not keeping the, the Sabbath? God, I'll be the, the Jews. Same, same God of the Jews. We are Jews. We know what it is. Forget about the Jews. Same God, Allah. Allah. Say it here. Remember them who transgress in the Sabbath. Don't bang the Quran like that. All right. All right. What I'm saying is the word of the Quran says, Remember those among you who transgress in matters yeah, of Sabbath. Who is talking? It's a previous Allah. Friday. You know, you know something? So you change it to Friday. Remember, you change it to Friday. Yes. Yes. Remember. I don't know if you realize. Yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's before? No, 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 no. It's above you. Guys, guys, it's remember. Above what was it? Oh, tell me. Yeah. Wasn't it? Read, 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 read. Isn't it? Okay, listen, read. Okay. With all due respect. <laughs> Does the, does the laws, I'm asking based on that, the same logic, same logic. Does the laws of the Jews apply to the Christians today? Of course it does. It does? Of course. Do you so exercise? Why do you look at that? Why do you look at that? Why do you look at that? You ask me, you ask me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You have no Sabbath on the Sabbath. Why do you ask me? 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 You ready? You ready? Old covenant. Old covenant. That's why I asked him. Does the old covenant apply to the Jews? That's the question I asked him. He said yes. Listen. He just raised a question. Everybody start laughing. Oh, do you circumcise? Circumcise was never given to Moses. I didn't say it was. So how you asking me about circumcise? But Mo- did Moses circumcise? Hold on. Did Moses circumcise? Hello. Yes, he did. You know why? Because it was because the covenant. Make it. Listen, listen. Were you there, Moses? No, were you there? No. So you know he was circumcised. According to the Bible. According to the Bible. Are you talking about? No, no. Wait a minute. Abraham. Abraham was given the covenant until the of circumcision. Can I finish? Yes, of circumcision. Yeah. Can I finish? That's right. Abraham was given the cir- co- covenant of circumcision. Now are you interrupting? All right, go on. One minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abraham was given the covenant of circumcision, right. yes, yeah. for all his progeny. Yeah. It's Moses' yeah. progeny. Yeah. Is Moses yeah. progeny. Yes. Did he circumcise? No, 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 yes. Yeah. I told one did Jesus circumcise? Yes, he did. Did you circumcise? No. Brother, Say not the progeny. Yeah. End of story. End of story. All covenant. You are having a man. All covenant. All covenant. All covenant. All covenant. You know, that was exactly what I asked him. That's exactly what I asked him. I asked him, does the law of the old covenant, the laws of Moses apply to the Christians? What did you say? Oh, I just disagreed. The Ten Commandments. What did you say? The Ten Commandments. Hello. The Ten Commandments. We're talking about Sabbath in the Ten Commandments. We're not talking about the Moses law. Are you the Seventh Day? Sorry. Are you Seventh Day Adventist? No. Don't ask me who I am. Forget about that. That's not irrelevant. I'm saying. I'm saying we're talking about the Ten Commandments. Who no, am um, Allah says? Remember those who transgress in matters of Sabbath. Remember that was given in Exodus 20 in the Ten Commandments. You ask me if I'm circumcised. I'm not because circumcision was given to the Jews. The Ten Commandments was given to Christians. Forget about circumcision. Isn't that what I'm saying? I'm asking you about the Sabbath in the Ten Commandments. Why would you do that? Just like the covenant is why. What did you just? Sabbath. Wait, wait. Right. What Sabbath. Is Sabbath. What is Sabbath? Food. This is the point. He already yeah. answered the question. This is the point. Yeah, this yes. is the point. Exactly. Yes. He just answered rest? the question without realizing it. No, no. He said, Circumcision yeah. was for whom? Yeah. For the Jews. For the Jews. For the Jews. And the Sabbath was for whom? Jews. For Jews. The Jews. For Christian in the Ten Commandments. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the Quran. In the Quran is for whom? In the Quran is for whom? For all humanity. It says. It says here. It says here. And surely you have known the end of those among you who transgress. Where is your? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Where is all humanity? Let it go, please. Let it go. Where is all humanity? Wait, wait. Liar. He is literally telling you. Liar. Let me finish. Liar. Listen. Let me preach. Let me preach. If you want me to preach. He's telling you here. Allah is telling you here. Sorry. Allah is telling you here. No. I didn't just shout. Because Allah is telling you here 
that you must remember them. If he's telling you to remember them, he's telling you don't the Holy Spirit, do Holy fight, Spirit. don't and make sure you don't make the same mistake as them. Why does he say that? Are you there? Why does he say that? Don't make the same it mistake. It says as again. Them. Let me read again. Read from it says and take your hands off it, please. <laughs> and surely you have sixty-three as well. We have who do from and surely you have known the end among you who transgress in matters of the Sabbath. Who is that? Allah, who is that? let me finish please. Allah is saying, Still spitting this guy, man. if those who transgress in the Sabbath, make sure you don't fall in the same ditch as them. That's a lie. I'll tell you why. Because in 63, <laughs> hold on, hold on. let the Sabbath have time to speak. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Okay. This guy, he says, that the circumcision was given to the Israelites. To the Israelites, that's the reason we don't circumcise. Right. Okay? Where in the Quran does he say the Sabbath is for the Muslims? I challenge you. Huh? We're challenging. Hey, I just read it. I just read it. No, 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 no. Show me the word Muslim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? He says in Sisi. What is that? Curiosity and respect. Why don't you rest on the Sabbath? Okay. That's it. First thing, genuine question. Genuine question. I'm telling you. Because Let him answer, the Sabbath man. is not applicable to the Muslims. Right. The Sabbath. Look. A lie. The lie. The lie which I will expose of his is in verse 63, which he doesn't want to read. It says here, and recall. Listen, recall listen, means remember listen, listen, listen. the past. Listen, listen, recall. Now, listen, listen, yeah, let me listen. Listen. Let me read on. Read on. Recall. Let him listen to me. Yeah, Don't yeah. try to twist. No, no, I want to listen. Okay. Listen, 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 listen closely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, let's start from. Oh, well, now you're moving up now. Okay. Verse 62. Please take the tree. Take the tree. Right. Verse 62. Indeed, those who believed, yeah, and those who were Jews or or Christians or Satanists. One minute. I will finish. No, you can't. Those who among them who believed, who believed in Allah. You're not listening, are you? You're not serious. You really are not serious. You know, every time you read, I should just read it, man. It just shows you're not serious. And you want to you don't want to laugh. You don't even realize the joke is on you right now. So guys, it's your Quran. I don't know why you're not Everybody is Quran. I'm telling you. In the Quran, they don't agree with it. The reason for that is very simple. Because Allah doesn't say the Sabbath is what the Muslims have to maintain. It is for the for the uh, for the Bani Israel. It says here in chapter 2, verse 62, mm -hmm. Indeed, those who believed, uh -huh. and those who were Jews or Christians or Sabians, those among Quran them who believed in Allah and in the last day and did righteousness will have their reward with their Lord and no fear. He knows you're listening again. Go on, go on. And no fear will be there concerning them, nor will they grieve. Yeah. So these are the Jews and the Christians and the Sabians who believed in one God. There will be no fear upon them. Nonsense. Okay. You know why I said that? Let me finish. I want to finish. I say can. Okay. And he says here. And in 63 he says here. And recall. It means recall from the past. Yes. When we took your covenant. Yes. O children of Israel. And we raised over you the mount, saying, Take that we have given you. Who? The Israelis, the Ben Israel. Take what we have given you with determination. I'm not going to repeat. Come on, man. Are you my echo, man? Come on, come on, man. Read the thing and stop Look, we don't want no echoes here. Read us. Okay. This ain't the church where you have to echo things. No, no, no. Read it. Okay. Yeah, but this is a Quran. So read the Quran like the Quran, not like the Bible. All right, go on. Okay. And recall when we took your covenant. These are the followers of Cocofield. You really have those followers of Cocofield. No, go on, go on. There's a lot of people. And recall when we took your covenant, O children of Israel, to abide by the Torah, and we raised over you the mount saying, Take that we have given you with determination, and remember what is in it, and that perhaps you may become righteous. Okay? So here God is addressing whom? What verse is that? That is verse 63, 263. And he's talking to the children of Israel, the Bani Israel, that we have taken a covenant from you to take off it and remember that in it perhaps you may become righteous. And then Allah says in chapter uh, 260, uh, chapter 264, verse 54, uh, 64, then you, who is you here? The Bani Israel. Then you turned away after that. And if not for the favor of Allah upon you and his mercy, you would have been among the losers. Yes? And then in 65, Allah says, And you, again, the Ben Israel, and you had already known about those who transgressed among you concerning the Sabbath, and we said to them, Be apes despised. And we made it a different punishment for those who were present and those who succeeded them. Succeeded them. The Ben Israel. 
Yes, and a lesson for those who fear Allah. So at no point, as you can see from these verses, which he quoted, 65, within the context, does it ever say the Muslims have to maintain the Sabbath? So you have been telling us a cock and bull story all this time without realizing that you are addressing a completely different point to a completely different people, and not the Muslims. Right, can I touch it now? Yeah, go on. My point? Here it is. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Did you understand that bit? Yeah, we understand. Can I ask last coming? I lost. You lost it? Verse 63. Yeah, I lost it in 63 as well. I do. Because you were not listening? No, no, because it, there's a lot. There's you guys lot. understood everyone? Yes, yes. So you guys were all listening? Yes, yes. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah. Verse 63. Yeah. Verse okay. 63. Last point, a lot, a lot and then you missing. finish. Yeah, last lot, point. Yeah, last yeah, go on. It says, surely. Yeah, no one. Yeah, yeah. what well, listen? Was that? Let me read. It's not on purpose. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. No, I'm not saying you did it on purpose. I mean, one, two people that I was talking to. No, no, hang on, hang on a second. I did not do it on purpose. Okay, all right. You can always go home and read it. Listen this. Or watch your video. Yeah. Listen this. Verse 63 said, surely the believers and the Jews, that's what you read, yeah? 63? Yeah. The believers and the Jews. Where is it? Show me 63. Yeah. Surely the believers and the Jews. And the Christians. And the Christians, yeah, yeah. Right. First of all, first of all, it says here, point out, surely the believer and the Jews, the believer, who is he talking about? Christians. Christians? Christians. He says, Allah is speaking to Israelites. No, over here he's talking to Israelites. Here, wait, 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 this, wait. the context of the Sabbath wait, 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 is wait, to the Israelites. Wait, wait. This one here is anyone from the believers, the Jews, wait, wait. the Christians, no way, the Sabians, no way. anyone who believes in the last day, right, wait. then that is all okay. Right, right. Yes, that right. includes the Muslims as well. All right. wait, no wait, 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 please. No problem. It says, it says, surely the believers and the Jews. And the Christians. Uh, Carry on. Are you saying this is referring to Israelites? Carry on reading. No, are you saying that? Let, finish right, the word and tell you if it's referring to Israel. Or not. And the but it's one chapter anyway. No, it's one word. It's one chapter. All right. One word. It says, and the Sabian, whichever party from among these truly believed in Allah, yes. and the last day and does good deeds shall have their reward with the Lord, with their Lord. That's what it's telling you. So it's telling you, if you stay on the righteous side, you will have your reward with the Lord. You with me? Then he carry on saying, and no fear shall come upon them, nor shall they be grieved. Exactly. In other words, they will find rest. But verse 64 said, and remember the times when we took a covenant from Fast you. Fast tense. Who, who is he referring to you? This is the Jews. The, so we take a covenant from the Jews. When Israel. Listen. Yes. And raise high above you, the Jews. Wait, 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 wait. What is it say? And remember the time we took a covenant from you. Yeah. Yes. And, and raise them. high above you the mount, the mount yes. Yeah, the Jews. All fast that which you that uh, no. All fast that which we have given you. You hear what I'm saying? The All fast that which we the Benu Israel. Yes. All fast to it. And and bear it in mind. He's saying, remember it. Israel. Listen to me, gentlemen. That that is therein. That is therein. So first of all, he says, he thinks he's and got a bear point. in mind what is therein, what was given to Israel. He's telling you, bear in mind, don't make a mistake, right? Yeah? And that you may be saved. In other words, he's saying, what was given to Israel can save you. Yes. Am I right? Yes. I, am I right? Right. right. Hold on. Are you asking me or them? No, no, I'm just asking general. General, not you, not you. Oh, but not listen, me, okay. <laughs> listen verse 6. Because I might correct him. Let's still do the Bani Israel. Carry on. Okay. Let's still but listen to verse 65 now. Okay. It says, What's then... What's the first is Yeah, yeah. Two. 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 yeah. Then you turn back thereafter. Who is he speaking of? Speaking about the Jews again. The Jews again. The Israel, yeah. And and had it not been for Allah's grace towards you and his mercy, you would surely be among the losers. Yes. But he didn't finish there. No, he didn't. Guess what he said now in the next verse. Yeah, guess what? And surely you have known the end of those among you who transgress in matters of Sabbath. Why is he saying according to what I just read? So he's he's saying, hold on. First of all, he's saying, be careful you don't make the same mistake as them. Then he says, now remember them who transgress in the Sabbath. So he's already re-emphasizing his point to say, don't be like them 
Oh, don't rest. Make sure you have a rest. Oh, he's, he's using your spin. Uh, uh, am I right? Your spin. Am I right? Hang on, hang on. But don't Sabbath. rest on Friday. Oh, don't you guys rest on Friday? Yeah, we rest, we rest so, on Friday. Right. And the reason for that is because we Sabbath, we do not. Is that a Sabbath? No, Sabbath, Sabbath doesn't mean. Sabbath, Sabbath in Arabic <laughs> and in Hebrew means Sabbath. Means Saturday. The reason. Right. Means get a rest. Wait, wait, right. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. Just because your God has a rest doesn't mean my God needs to rest. No, no, forget about that. We're not, we're not, no, we're not here. We don't like that. Oh, you don't like that. How many Christians are going there? What is the point? No, no. I am Christian. saying to you. You listen to my statement. Yeah, yeah. If he's saying to them, remember them that transgress among you concerning Sabbath, he's telling you, do not go and fall in the same dish as them. No, no. That means the Muslims should keep Saturday. It doesn't mean keep Sabbath. Good work. Done. Absolutely. Am I right? No, you're not. Okay, then you're not right. I'll tell you why you're not right. How is that? Wait a minute. I'll tell you why you're not right. I'll tell you. Quran. 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 Two verse 65. Hey. 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 Let me tell you why you're wrong. No. Let me tell you why you're wrong. He's taking my Quran. Oh, he's not taking He's just looking at it. Don't be satisfied. Don't worry about it. Read. Can you read? You read 65. Yeah. Yes. And you had already known about those who transgress. Yeah, he's telling you. Don't make the same mistake as them. So who transgressed? The Jews. Okay. Where does Allah say for the for the Muslims to keep the Sabbath? No, no, no. Go All Allah, Allah is telling you is that they have transgressed. Wait, 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 wait. He asked me a question. Yes, go, on. go back up to verse 63. Yeah, go on. He says, surely the believers and the Jews and the Christians, is it not? Do what? Do what? Yeah, what do they do? He says, surely the believers and the Jews and the Christians. Oh, that's 62. 63. 63. Yeah, 63. Okay, indeed. Yeah, go on. Go on. So he's talking. So yeah. what, you, what your question was? My question here with regards to this verse 63 yeah. is anyone who believes in the last day and does good deeds shall have their reward with their Lord. So regardless of whether. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 Bro? In 63, there's no Sabbath. No. It's only about good deeds and righteousness. Why are you asking? And then, what question is asking? And then, wait, wait, wait. No, but we, no, no. I'm a Christian. The Christian. I, I, I'm exactly. a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Oh, you have a seven-day Adventist. You are a seven-day Adventist. He just said. He never said that. No, you're right. I, I, didn't say I that. apologize when I made the mistake okay. with you. Can you tell me? I didn't say that. No, no, no. Can you tell me? Hold on. No, I'm not apologizing. No, 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 no. That's not Because he doesn't want to tell me what happened. How many are you talking? One or two or three?